the target. 12,000 items of James Bond memorabilia. The objective... Selling 140. Sell as many as possible at auction. That's the mission for agent Nick Bennett, who owns the largest 007 collection in the world. But he's got an arch enemy eyeing up his prized possessions. Introducing 005. Who are you? Harris. Bradley Harris. Ah, good evening, Mr. Harris. So how long have you been collecting all of this stuff? Um, well, I've been collecting these posters and all the memorabilia for 35 years, which is probably older than you. Nick has travelled all over the world collecting everything, from rare movie posters to miniature DB5 Aston Martins and iconic Bond figures. Some items have taken up to 30 years just to find. Let's look at this, the 1953 Casino Royale. First edition. First edition. Mm, it doesn't smell as old as I thought it would. Oh, you got me. No, the real thing is in a cabinet over there, locked up. I couldn't let you touch it. For your eyes only? I'm afraid so. In that case, <laughs> it's mine. <laughs> this huge collection could take around a year to sell at auction and bring home profits in excess of £250,000. So why? Why are you parting ways with it now? I think it's time. It's grown huge. Um, it lives in a building larger than my house. <laughs> I don't see enough of it, and it's um, time for it to go free and, and let other people enjoy um, pieces and add them to their collection, and hopefully um, all these things will have a life um, beyond me. With all this memorabilia and insider knowledge, there's one big question remaining. Who is the new James Bond? Well... <clears throat> I would have said, before I walked in today, I didn't know. And then I saw him. Here he is. <laughs> yeah, in my dreams, more like. Bradley Harris, 5 News, over and out.